morning, happy Tuesday, and welcome to Nourish My Soul. My name is Jeff. I'm the lead servant for Los Angeles First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, or LA Filnaz. Please join our church every Sunday, 9 a.m. at Wiley Chapel, Los Angeles, California. Here's our fellowship schedule. Nourish My Soul, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Wednesday, 7 p.m., Walk Through the Bible. Our virtual midweek. Friday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., Bible Study and Prayer Party. Sunday, 9 a.m., in person and online for our worship service. Let's start with the reading of the Word. January 19, 2021. Today is Tuesday. In John 14, verse 15, it says, If you love me, you will keep my commands. For this morning, let's talk about devotion over obligation. Imagine a dad walking up to his child and saying, Hey kiddo, you're about to go through this wild jungle and I'm, a, and I'm going to give you a backpack full of survival guides, equipment, and uh, sound twizzlers. Good luck. <laughs> and the dad leaves his child to venture the journey alone. What's the child's chance of survival? I tell you, slim to none. We think of this way with Jesus. He is the religious king who said his commands, did some really amazing things, and then left us to model after what he did alone. Maybe you had a life-changing, eye-opening, heart-shattering encounter with Jesus. And you asked what it would look like to live a life in relationship with him. What happened next? Someone hands you a Bible and tells you to read the gospel and figure it out. Just start in the New Testament and you learn. <laughs> what? We have the most complex book ever written and guided by the most and only complex creator of the world. And we're told, just have a quiet time. You see, Jesus did not do this. Jesus gave humanity the two boldest and most challenging calls to action. The Sermon on the Mount and the Great Commission. What do both reveal? We have zero chance of following God by ourselves. Yep. This is exactly why Jesus told his followers that he was leaving, but he would send an advocate, a helper. Jesus, fully man, fully God, had changed thousands of lives in his ministry. And he tells people it is better that he goes away because the helper is coming. How could that possibly be the case? As much as Jesus paved the way for us, the Holy Spirit is the one who reveals His steps. The Holy Spirit is our guide, our comforter, and our teacher. He is God inside of us who opens our eyes and hearts to do in us and through us far more than we could ever do ourselves. I thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the helper. Thank you for the advocate. Thank you for not leaving us behind, clueless of what to do. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, all your sacrifices. Today, you would like to pray, Lord God, for healing for the following people, uh, Len Bermudo, 
Jovi, Jovi Bermudo, Juvi Simon, and JB, friend of me. Lord, we declare healing be upon these people. And um, you know them well. We asked for complete healing in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to also give an opportunity to all our listeners and uh, followers who is watching us right now. The opportunity to accept you as our Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me, that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Allow me to bless you this morning. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen and amen. God bless you. Happy Tuesday. See you tomorrow for our uh, midweek virtual Walk Through the Bible series. Bye.